So in this video, I will show you how you can use life ray in a headless approach. So I'll, I will start by creating a, a web content inside life ray, and then we're going to use life ray JSON APIs to consume this web content. So we're going to see step by step how I can do that. So first I will create a sample web content with some translation. And then after that, we're going to see how we can call LifeRay JSON APIs to get this uh, web content uh, from LifeRay and maybe consume it in any other uh, websites. So I'll log in first uh, on my site as an admin user. And I will create very quick um, a web content. So I'm going to my web content folder and I will create a new web content and I will name my web content test APIs and in my content I'm gonna add very simple content here so welcome to my English content All right and maybe just add some other HTML elements and, and photo. So I'm going to choose any photo I have here. All right, and maybe add a separator between them. Okay, so just having my first content ready. Um, and I'm going to publish this. And actually, I forget one thing is I'm going also to um, add. Uh, uh, Spanish translation so we can see how using the APIs I can um, get the content and get any translation I need so I'm going to edit this web content and I'm gonna add a Spanish translation um, just bienvenido life ray and also choose any other image for the for the Spanish translation so I'm not going to use the same image and I'm going to use any other one. Okay, and just hit save. So now I finished creating my content. So I want to use this content inside my site. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make the permission of this content not accessible by guest user. Um, because using live ray JSON, you can actually use um, um, Oath tokens so that you can um, um, authenticate uh, users using um, JSON APIs so that you can get secure um, content from LifeRay if you're authorized to get that. Um, the other thing also uh, I need to do before jumping to the API side is to get the uh, ID of the content and the version because that's what I'm going to need to use inside my JSON API. So I'm just going to copy this now All right and then the next step I need to do is um, give you a very quick overview about life ray JSON API so to access life ray JSON APIs uh, what you need to do is you need to go to your uh, server URL and then you uh, you tap API slash JSON uh, let me try that one more time I'm sorry, it's JSON WS. Here you go. So now you have the JSON APIs, um, and you can see here those are all the different categories in LifeRay. Um, and then uh, you can choose any category you want, and then uh, you can access all the APIs for this category. Um, so I'm going to access the journal. The journal is what is responsible for the web content. And here you can see all, uh, you can see all the methods that I have under journal. Um, I'm gonna use the get article but as you can see there is different get articles here I'm going to um, go to the last one so this one is actually um, we'll get the group ID group ID is actually life ray site ID uh, and then the article ID and then the version okay so uh, one thing I forgot to get from the uh, life ray here is the site ID uh, where the content uh, was created so I'm going to the site settings and I got the site ID here okay so I need to add the group ID and then for the article ID uh, that's the ID that I just copied 
and then you have the version which is here is version 1.1 right so um, you can see I can uh, use the JavaScript version uh, for this method and just copy paste um, the reason I'm not using that one just this is because um, if I'm going to invoke this JSON uh, web service internally so I'm gonna get the URL so that I can show you how I can do an Ajax call using jQuery um, and then uh, get the JSON object back from this URL and then uh, start showing uh, the object on my page so I'm gonna copy this URL and that's the URL that I'm actually going to use this is actually my code that I wrote so just to save my time I just wrote it before this video uh, so basically I'm using um, jQuery here and um, I'm just doing a basic basic authentication here um, of course in your production you're not going to use basic authentication you're probably going to use token so token is out of the box um, uh, um, configurable with liferay so um, all authenticate comes with liferay out of the box uh, so you can use tokens to authenticate your uh, JSON uh, web services as you can see also here um, I created a function so there is a button once I click on that button um, that would execute the JSON uh, web service and then uh, this is the function that will be executed so I'm doing an Ajax call and this is the URL so I need to just copy the URL that I just created right now All right and just do that space and then you can see this is the data type will be JSON and on success what I need to do is just to get the content uh, from the um, JSON object that will be sent back uh, and if any errors will happen I'm just gonna show those errors as a pop-up window and then once I get this content what I need to do is I need to convert it to XML file and then inside the XML file I need to get the different translation and in just my code here what I did is I took this different translation and I add them in iframe so I have one iframe for English and one iframe for Spanish right so that's just my code here right so let's see how that works so I'm going to just create a separate page here you can actually use that code inside any external website that you want to use to consume data from Liferay uh, just because I don't have any other website running now I'm gonna uh, just create another page inside my environment so I'm gonna create a, a new page name it test just give it one column layout and on this page I'm going to add uh, web content I'm gonna name it anything test my code and here I'm going to add my codes that, that I just showed here All right so adding just my code just click publish so you can see here if I just click try it you can see here I was able to get the English translation and also I was able to get the Spanish translation so um, you can use the same code outside of Liferay and you get the translation you want and then uh, you can add it to your site based on your uh, preference here and as I said uh, this is can also work if you not even authenticated because I'm using basic authentication here but as I said before, um, in your environment, you're going to use um, production environment. You're going to use um, auth tokens. So I'm going to open another browser and just access the same site. And just go to the test page. So I'm not logged in here. And you can see whenever I try to access it, I still can access this secure content because I did a basic authentication inside my code. Um, so this is the end of my demo. Uh, please leave me any question you have in the comments and uh, also uh, I'm gonna add in my comments the link for my uh, code so if you wanna try it uh, you can definitely do that thank you